so now guys let's get started with downloading this dashboard from the website and then let's start to set up in our php project so guys let's go to this um, link so it's just a admin lt.io in that block section we have a free bootstrap file templates so here i just found that on this first here i have the download source code okay download so you can click on free download let's continue and download guys so guys i have already downloaded it let me close this done and let me just show you that file so here is my soft ui dashboard let's control x and go back to our ht docs i go to the front of my team let me paste my downloaded template admin dashboard and now let's extract here and yes So it's just the okay successfully extracted let me close this so here i have my dashboard let me just open that so first inside the pages let's go and here is the okay awesome guys now let's close it and let's begin with the integration so as simple and now you can get back so first step guys let us just open this application in a vs code editor so we can copy and paste in new application okay so oh, just open with code so here is my dashboard that is downloaded template and we need one php admin panel so we can get back here and create one new folder folder that is php admin panel okay let's hit enter and now you can open this in a vs code editor done so this is a clean empty vs code editor and this is the downloaded template awesome guys so first let us get back to this page and create one index.php file and we need to check that the page is printing or not okay let's save it and you can go localhost fund of web it hit enter so you'll find all the folders so here is my php admin panel let's click on that and here you see on the index.php we have that hello okay hit enter perfect so we have got the output done guys now you can start integrating your template so if you are not able to find this local host fund of a battery please download a local server i am using an example so yep guys now let's begin with the setup of admin dashboard in php so now guys we are going to create one folder here admin inside that admin we are going to create one more folder called includes okay and again let's create some more folder that is assets so inside this assets we are going to divide by css and again one more folder for js all set so now inside this includes folder i want to create one file header.php and for the footer let's create one more file footer.php and for the navbar and the sidebar also let's create navbar.php and the sidebar dot php okay so sidebar dot php all set so now guys you can get back here on this dashboard go to this pages dashboard dot html so let's copy from the top so here we begin and just end to this body first let's copy it get back and go to your header.php file and paste it guys as simple and now here you see all the href links we do not require analytics tag you can just remove it so now guys first step we need to just copy all the css and assets code inside this okay so let's get back dashboard downloaded dashboard go to that dashboard move to assets inside all these files we have right folders 
let's copy it and get back to that our php main website php admin panel inside admin assets we are going to paste it let me delete and paste the full code done guys that's it so now you can get back on your php so here we are going to just remove this extra double dots so one two this is the third fourth and here also we find the fifth sixth okay and here guys instead of soft ui dashboard you can place any services okay funda services or apple services mobile device services let's get back to the template so from here you see that aside starts so aside means it's a side navbar let me just fold it so here it ends let's copy this completely the sidebar and get back and just go to the sidebar file and paste there so we'll be seeing how to integrate it so first step now we can get back here after the body it was a sidebar so let's include the sidebar guys first user include function inside that add sidebar.php file that's it okay now we can get back again to the template and here your navbar starts and navbar ends and then this is a container and the main tag okay so now guys let us just copy this line get back to the code php dashboard and after this i need a navbar let's copy here and paste so you need to add navbar.php so this is the file navbar.php let's paste that navbar so inside the main we have a navbar let's copy this and get back again paste it done guys so we have the navbar code now you can get back to again header.php we have fixed that and now guys let's get back here and inside this container we see some more code let me just verify whether we are copying correctly or not let me fold all the rows and you see guys we have one more thing about the footer part here let's fold this also so again what we'll do we'll copy this container get back so inside the header only we paste the container to and then all your rows and then the footer comes guys so let's copy this footer let's get back and paste here in the footer dot php file okay so let me push this front and then so after this footer guys you just need to copy complete end of the html let's move below and just copy and come back and paste here that's it guys so we do not require much of the things from here so what we'll do we'll just remove it this script tag is useless because we are not going to use any graph or bars so just remove that so now guys here it is telling go back back let's remove all this just remove that and finally one all set and now guys you can just go to the index.php and here you begin with php open and close include function where you call inside the includes folder you call your header.php file okay so this is my includes folder header.php file and then the footer.php file okay oops this is index of outer i wanted inside the admin folder index.php okay so here i required it let me copy this Control X and paste inside my admin index. Let me delete this file because we are getting confused. Okay, so it should be one index that is inside the admin. Okay, 
done guys and here you start with the let me add until hello funda okay save it and now we need to go to the admin folder forward slash just hit enter here you see you are on the main page okay so index you can just tell index.php also you will be reached awesome guys so now you need to set up few things and you need to remove few things from here so for that let us just go to the navbar first and fix this sidebar okay so i don't need many of the things i just name, need to remove all unwanted things so let's go to the php admin panel on the sidebar on the first tab so guys here in the side nav header okay so as simple let me remove this image and this also and just add a h4 tag and tell funda services and here i do not require this anymore link let's remove this index.php and do not require this and just remove this font icon and now guys let's begin with the sidebar contents so here on the svg part i'm going to remove and just a i tag inside that fa home text white and text hyphen lg as simple and here we are going to keep just index.php so now let me just show you this output refresh so same way we are going to create for all the sidebar tabs yep so here i am going to remove it and just add a i tag and in and then here we are going to mention as inquiries inquiries.php file and then again let's copy and paste for other fields also okay so we are not going to have much things only few things we'll be having let me just show you let me remove all this not required this is one header type guys let me mention that here so this is nothing but my inquiries inquiries and let's copy again these two lines paste here let's remove again bottom things We just removed that and this is the side side nav footer fully only this inside card part so this is my href logout.php file later we will be creating it let me break this log out as simple guys okay and then this will be manage services let's copy this services paste here and here the cogs because these are the services let's copy this again fully paste here and this will be the management the site management okay site management this admin forward slash users users and add users hyphen plus plus copy and paste again for the social media social media and again you need to paste here for the site management okay site setting let's mention only setting guys setting settings and change the pages name so this will be all the users social hyphen media and this is settings let me see for the above here services and now guys let's here for this add a globe and for this social media also you can add a globe and it's not white guys it's dark so let's copy this dark and above also dark and this service is also dark and finally the inquiry also is done let's save and now guys let's refresh and check the output 
okay so here you see inquiries is still not showing let's see what happened and here it's horn okay not home now if you refresh all set guys done and now guys let me fix this sidebar here with the css let's inspect that and just go to this collapse now bar and here you'll find that height adjustment okay so just click there and you'll it is fixed okay so it's fixed here so what we have to do we just need to find this inside this css file so let's move and go to that css assets css and here is our soft ui dashboard.css find that class command this height section now close this file and let's get back refresh and perfect done guys so now finally one card is left to show on this dashboard and then we'll be continuing in further videos about services users so let's get back on the dashboard let's move on top top and here is the row guys so inside this row we find many columns etc cards so what we have to do we don't need to do much things let's copy get back to the other vs and here go to their admin just start with row paste here and now guys this will be your column so i do not require much column let me just column md four and all these things we are going to put in one card itself remove everything just we need this one heading and so two and remove everything we do not require anything so here one div is missed now let us get back refresh perfect so we got it guys if you want to make it more small you can just add three three let's copy this paste here so it goes in this way awesome so guys we have successfully integrated the admin dashboard in php okay so now guys let's continue in the next video about how to add the user how to authenticate this admin dashboard and many more so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share